for everybody. So this video now, you understand, it's a series. You get it? it's a series. I just I just finished one about credit card, credit card. So this one is about credit report, credit scores, credit report, how you can manage your credit report and all that. So if you're first time, ah, welcome, you get it. welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you have been watching our videos, my videos, thank you so much, guys. You know, thank you for subscribing. So if you're first time, please subscribe. This channel is going to help you a lot. You get it's going to help you a lot. So thank you, guys. So let's get it started. So now let's talk about um, credit scores because this one is very important. Ah, I mean, some people don't understand credit scores in this country. You understand? So they were just using their credit card anyhow or they don't they don't know how to manage your your credit you get the anything that has to do with credit so now first first of all in case you are wondering what is credit score what is this credit score what's this credit score that this person is talking about yeah let me read the definition for you you get so your credit score is a number based on specific information on your credit report so credit score is a number based on specific information on your credit report your credit score is used by lender to predict the likelihood that you will repay future debts your credit score changes frequently and it is up to each lender how they interpret and use your credit score hope your English is not too much hope that English is not too much I should explain to you in my own language. You understand? Because all this Google language, <laughs> all this Google language, you know, the gas they be. So let me explain to you. Credit score. So credit score basically, it is a number that is attached with your SIN, right? So it's a number. It's a number like the ranges between 300 to 900 or 950. You get. So the ranges between 300 to 900. So this number where you are in this number it will determine how how you are faithful in paying your credit you understand so if you're at number 300 it means your credit score is very bad you understand so if, if you are at 900 it means your credit score it's good you get so but all these things all these numbers these numbers there is something that determines this number. It is how you use your credit. You understand? It is how you use your credit. So your credit score, it's uh, it has to do with how you're paying back your credit, the credit that people give you, banks give you, institution give you, how you are paying it back. So the more you pay, the more your credit scores, it affects your credit scores. And there are other things that affect your credit scores as well you understand so the way you use your credit that's to do with you so there is a scores your scores you have a scores you understand that scores is reading it's not it's like you you are writing exam you understand so the way you write the exam and the way you study to determine your result to determine your scores that you will have at the end of the end of the section so same thing with credit scores right the way you use your credit scores determine your number and that number is very important the, your scores is very important in this country so that is definition of credit score so you have to manage your manage your score so that you can be at the you know you can have a good point because it's we have a whole lot of things to do with your life here in Canada so why is this score why is credit credit score why it's why is it so important yeah why is it so so important why why can't i just be living my life the way i've been living in my own country why is it so important it's important because in canada here uh, we have a credit system like if i want to buy a phone even if I don't have my money, I can walk up to a, to a store and then tell them that I want to get this phone. I don't have any money, but I'll be paying you every month. You get it. So, before they can do that, they will have to go and check 
my scores, my reports, my credit reports, so they can see how faithful I am or I was with the credit with the previous credits that I've been that people have given me. You understand? So now, for example, I want to buy a TV and then I don't have the money. If it is in my own country, anything you want to buy, you have to have your money. Like you gotta go, you got you gotta have your money in cash. But here we we don't do that. You get you can you can have your money and buy whatever you want. But here we can we can go to anywhere and tell them that hey, I want this thing. I'll be paying back every month. You understand? For example, if the phone is let's say two thousand dollars. I can tell them that hey, I don't have any money, but this money I'll be paying you every month for five years. You can pay that money for five years every month, which it wouldn't affect you. You understand? Maybe you're paying thirty dollars every month, and you can pay it for five years. You get. But first of all, they have to check your credit report, credit score to see how faithful you are with the previous credits you have. So that means if if your credit score is bad, they will not approve that request. You understand? So that is why credit scores is very important. So, you know, I'm talking about why is it important. That's number one point you get. Number two, um, creditors they will be allowed to see how you have been, how you are, how you have been properly undo your credit account, your credits, your previous credit. You get, um, and also. If you want to rent house, because we pay every month here, house rent is every month. So if you want to rent a house, the landlord they always check it. They always check the the credit your credit report. They check your credit score so that they can know that oh, like if you have a bad credit report, credit scores, they might not give you the house. You understand? They will, because they will believe that oh. You that you have a very bad credit report so if they give you this house how would you be paying them every month since the credit card that the bank gave you you have not been paying regularly so how will you now be paying because they will see everything every activities in your credit report once they input your sim so how will you not be paying their house rent every month they will not give you that house so you see why you need to manage your our uh, credit reports out on how you will use your credit card very well and there are still other things oh, you, that that's is that that is uh, impacting this your credit score so which i'll still talk about but now i'm telling you why is it important you get so my next point why is it important like if you want to if you want to let's say buy a car you get if you want to buy a car yeah, they will have to check your credit report. You get if you want to buy a car on loan, they will check your credit report. So one of the things that affected me why I couldn't get my car on loan when I arrived in Canada was because because I was applying for the for I want to finance my car, I want to get a car on loan, and nobody was approving me. Why? Because I just moved into Canada not up to two weeks and I want to I don't have any credit report yet. And I want to get something on loan. I want to get a car on loan. So they were just rejecting the application. If I move to another place, they will reject the application. Which is which makes sense because they don't see my credit history. I don't have any credit history with anybody yet. So they don't trust me that if they give me this car on loan, how will I be able to be paying every month? So that was why I paid my car cash when I first landed in Canada at that time. So but now, now, and if I want to buy my, if I want to buy any car on loan, I can walk into any Tesla shop and tell them that, hey, I want this Tesla. Give it to me. I'll pay for ten years, and then they, they will give me the car because now I have a very good credit report now. And the reason why I, why I was able to get all those good credit record report within short period of time was because I understood all these things. You understand, and I was making sure that my credit score was growing you get so back to my point if you want to get a car the dealer 
a financing company, they will check your credit reports, they will check your credit score to see that, oh, if they give you this car, how fit for where you, will you be paying every month and all that. And also, if you want to buy a house, you get mortgage, you get because here in Canada you cannot pay one time also unless your dad is a ten dollar you get unless your t- dad is a ten dollar you cannot pay house houses are very 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 expensive in this country imagine like house house of seven hundred thousand eight hundred thousand nine hundred thousand <sighs> paying that money at once you get where do you want to stay unless if your dad is a ten dollar or Bill Gates of Mark, even even Mark Zuckerberg, right? Or Ted or like Bill Gates, they wouldn't want to drop that kind of money. They would prefer to use that money to invest. You get, and then they will be paying every month. That investment can yield more than the price. How would I say this? Yeah, that investment can yield more than that if they were paying every month. You get. So as a, as a, as as an investor, as a good businessman, you cannot drop that kind of money one time to buy a house. So back to we are not doing investment uh, class. So back to back to us. So if you want to if you want to buy a house, the the bank they will check your credit report, they will check your credit score to see that oh we be cousin, have you been faithful with your previous credit? You get so you see why all these things are very important. So and also hear this one too. Your employer they always check credit reports too. If you apply for a job, they will go and check your credit report. They want to see how faithful you are. You get especially jobs that has to do with you interacting with money, you you collecting cash from people, you collecting money from people. They want to check how faithful you are. You understand? They want to check how faithful you are. Jobs now they've been they've, they've been checking credit scores. So if you don't manage your credit scores very well, if you are just using your credit card anyhow, you are not paying back on time, and that's not that there are still other things that is attached with this credit report. Your credit score is going to be bad, and it's going to affect you. That's why I said it has to do with your life. Yeah. So, are you feeling me? So, employer, employer do check, employer do check, they will check your credit report. So, that is why it's very important. I just covered why is it important to you there. So, that is why this credit score is very what is very important. You have to take it seriously. And then, um, this credit score now it has a ranges. You get there is a way they always calculate it. As ranges, so it started from 300 to 900. Some people stop, some companies stop at 850, but all the all still they were still the same. So now let me tell you how the range. Okay, this is a picture. Yeah, as you can see now, as you can see, uh, from 300 to 579. If you have these scores from 300 to 579, it means your credit scores is poor you get it. so if you apply for credit card they will not approve you they might not approve you because they will first check that your scores they will see that oh you have a very very low credit score that you are at a risk for them if they if they give you a credit so from 580 to 669 that means your credit score is fair you get it. your credit score is fair so from 670 to 739 that means your credit score is good you get so from 740 to 790 your credit score is very very good then from 800 to 850 excellent but for me i'm you know i'm i'm in between good you get good you know i just spent i've not up to a, a year in canada and I've, I've escalated to this to this good and one of the things why i'm in this good was because i would have passed this good was because i don't know all these things when i first moved into canada so i was just using my credit scores anyhow so by the time i realized them by the time i i get to understand them i was now 
like trying to build my credit score again, 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 following all these things. If not, I would have passed this this one. Maybe I would have been at 850 by now. <laughs> so now let's move to to the next point. <clears throat> so what in what impacts your credit scores? What are the things that impact your credit scores? Yeah, what are the things that impact them? Like your credit account. So it's not only credit card that impacts your credit your credit score. So what are the things? So number one is credit card. Number one thing that impacts your credit score is your credit card. So either it can either impact it to good or to bad. Yeah, it can either impact it in a good way or in a bad way. Depends on how you manage your credit card. So you can go back and watch my video how to use your credit card. What is credit card all about? So the number two things what impact your credit your credit score is your phone bill. You get your phone bill. So your phone bill is attached with your credit scores as well. You know, once you get into Canada, you will get a phone, right? So how you are paying that phone bill every month, it will impact your credit scores. So if you don't pay your bills on time, your phone bills on time, or if you miss it, it will impact your credit score. So that is why I always advise people, once you get a phone, so which I will advise, I always advise people to get Fido, right? So if you are new in Canada or you are coming to Canada, make sure you buy like Fido. They have a very, very good plan for students. And then um, you can use my promo code as well. Check the link below. There is my promo code, Fido promo code. If you use it, they will give you one month free. So that's that. So now, if you are using your 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 phone bill, I will always advise people to attach their credit card with their online account so that every month, you know, the phone company will just be removing their money. It will not be like, oh, I forgot to pay on the 17th. Maybe they ask you to pay on the 17th. It will not be like, oh, I forgot to pay on the 17th. That is why I'm having a late payment. Because if you late, if you pay late, it will affect your credit scores. You understand? So, do you see how you can be managing your, how you can be doing it now so that your credit scores will not be impacted? You get, you get in, a, in a negative way. So, if you're if you're paying for your phone bill, make sure you attach your card, your credit card, with your online account so that they can be removing the money automatically. With that, you will not have a late payment or miss a payment, which would affect your credit scores. So that's number two things that can affect on how what impacts your your credit scores. The number three thing is house rent. You get so some landlord they always report your house rent to to this credit agency you get so try to confirm from your landlord if they do report it so if they if they do report it make sure you make sure you're paying your house rent on time you get don't miss the 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 payment date because if you miss it or you pay late it will affect your credit scores you get all these things affect your credit scores all these things most more things all this, you know, in Nigeria now, you can owe like a a year house rent. You can tell your landlord, "Hey, I'll pay, I'll pay by in the next three months." <laughs> but yeah, we pay monthly. Yeah, and if you're late, if you pay, if you don't pay on time, it would affect your credit scores. So that's the third thing on how what impacts this credit score thing. So the fourth thing is a. Uh, Finance. If you're financing anything like um, car, auto, auto loan, like if you get a car on loan, you get because they'll be telling you to pay every month. So if you miss a payment or you don't pay or you pay late, it would affect your credit score. So if you're on, if you're on a car loan, auto loan, make sure you are paying that auto loan as in paying on time. You, you get. So another thing is. Um, or uh, if you finance a phone or a laptop, you understand, maybe you go to maybe Best Buy, Best Buy, shout out to you, come and pay for this advertisement. <laughs> so uh, if you go to maybe like Best Buy and you, you finance a phone, 
or a laptop, you get a laptop or a phone on loan, make sure you are paying that money regularly every month. Don't miss a payment. You get don't miss a payment. If you miss it, it will affect your credit scores. You understand? The mortgage, mortgage, that's a yeah, mortgage, house, house. If you're paying mortgage on your house, make sure you're paying on time. If you miss a payment that month, it would affect your credit scores back. So these are all the things that impact your credit score. Then uh, instruments, instrument loan. Maybe if, it, if you apply for a loan online, because here in Canada you can apply for. If you have a good credit scores, these are the things you can do. You can apply for loans. You can apply for a house. You, you understand? Apply for mortgage. You can apply for a car. You can get a car. You, you get, and you be paying every month. But it all determines. It all determines what your credit scores is. You get how you've been managing your credit scores. You understand so maybe you apply for a loan make sure you are paying that loan back the date they ask you to pay every month if you don't it would affect your credit scores you understand but on how to build it primarily is through your credit card because before you can apply for a mortgage or a loan or you can apply for a car you must have some level of credit credit score before you can apply for all those but the primary way to build it is through credit card you get so these are all the things that can impact that impacts the credit scores either in a good way or in a bad way depends on how how you use them so now i'll talk about how credit score is being calculated right how do they calculate credit score so that score that score that always move from you know from uh, 300 to 800 to 850 to 700 to 600 how do they calculate it for them to be able to determine your scores at every particular time because that scores it changes every month you get so how do they determine how do they calculate it so the number one point is your payment history. You understand your payment history, which carries thirty five percent of of how they calculate your credit scores. So your payment history has to do with how do you pay your how do you pay back the loans? How do you pay pay back the credits? The amounts you spend on the credits? How do you pay back? You understand? So it determines on on your credit history you get. So because they will check they will check your credit history every month and then they will determine what scores you should have at that particular time. So your credit history determines um, the way your scores, your point is being calculated. How faithful were you paying paying back? You get do you always pay back? Do you always have a late payment? you get so like i told you not to always have a late payment so if you have a late payment it will show your credit history if you miss a payment that month it will show your credit history and it will impact your credit history you get so it carries 35 percent of your of how your scores will be calculated you get so the second point is amount of credit you are using which has to do with me telling you not to use more than 30 percent of your of your credit you get so if your credit limit on your car is a thousand dollars don't use more than 30 percent on it because if you more, if you use more than 30 percent it would affect it would affect your credit score when they were calculating it for that period you understand so the amount of credit you are using the credit available to you and the credit you use it will determine the way they will calculate your credit scores at that time so that one carries 30% you understand so the first one the credit history the payment history carries 35% so the amount of credit you are using that one that one carry 30% so you have to understand all this if you don't understand it just rewind it so that you can get it you understand because the the earlier you get it the earlier you know it's going to be a benefit to you so 
don't use if you want a very good point credit good credit score don't use more than 30 percent on your credit limit if your card limit is a thousand dollars don't dare use more than 300 dollars on it if you want to spend more than 300 dollars on it first transfer the money on your card okay and once you've seen that you've used 300 dollars pay back instantly before you use it again you get pay it back before you before you use your card again so that is how to manage your card on how to get a very good point so the third point how is your credit score being calculated is a um, length of your credit history so they will calculate it based on your length of your credit history as well which carries 15 15 percent length of your credit they will check how long have you been using that credit card you get all of all, how long have you been using that credit card so the more the longer your credit card is the more you'll be getting points on your credit score so if your credit card is a year old you get you'll be getting points on it as well you'll be getting points on it as well and then if you're applying for a new credit card i would always advise people don't close don't close your old card because that's your old card. They are giving you points. So because some people they will they will be like, oh, I've seen new credit card now that is giving me a good cashback. A uh, cashback is if you buy something, if you, if you use your credit card to buy something, they will give you some points on it. Okay. So they will be like, oh, I've seen a new card that that is giving me good cashback, and then I will just close my old credit card don't do that because if you do that you will lose some points you get that's your old card it will still be giving you some points on your credit score so which card is 15 percent you understand so also public records how your scores is being calculated public records also carries 10 percent public records means maybe if you are bankrupt um you know but that one that one doesn't apply to like individual that one is for people doing business and all that so you don't have some anything to worry about that as an individual as a newcomer you get so but once you start, start settling into canada system you will understand all those ones better but that one does not apply to you so you are you are free from that so um and then the last point how how your scores is being calculated is uh, number of inquiries you get number of inquiries you are making on your on your credit card now this one is very important this number of inquiries like like I told you okay no inquiries means if you want to check your credit scores so if you want to check your credit scores that means you are inquiring about your credit your credit report it always affects your credit points you understand so if you're applying to a job and the job wants to check your credit report, it would affect your credit scores, okay, which carry 10%. So if you want to apply for a car loan and you go to a dealership that, hey, I want to apply for this car loan, once they check your credit report, it would affect your credit scores, you get. So if you are applying for a mortgage, so once they check your credit report, once they pull your pull your record out, it would affect your credit scores. So now there is, if you apply for a credit card, so if you are applying for a new credit card, once you apply, because the the credit company will pull your credit report out, they want to check it, it would affect your credit scores. It will affect that number you get. So now this inquiry, it's, it's on two part two parts there is soft check and there is hard check you understand so normally soft check means you are checking your credit scores you want to check your credit scores without it affecting your credit report you get so there is a soft check the soft check is if you want to check your credit scores yourself you understand because like me now i do check my credit scores regularly myself to monitor my thing and that one is not affecting my credit report so that is a soft check but anything that has to do with institution 
organization, banks, company, if they want to check your credit report, that is hard check, it would affect your credit report. You get it will affect your credit scores because they were organizations, they were companies, so they were requesting your file, your old file from the credit company. So it will affect your credit report. So, but now I will tell you how you can do your soft check yourself. Like if you want to check your credit report yourself, I will tell you how you can go about it. So I will give you three, three methods to check it, three ways to check it, free of charge. There are some other, other online, there are some other website that if you want to check your credit report yourself, you have to pay. But now I will give you, you know I always give you free things, you understand? So, um, three ways you can check it, free of charge, that it will not affect your credit report. So soft check. The first one is Equifax. Equifax. Just go to Equifax.com and register. They will ask for your SIN and your other details. So once you input it, you can click on check your report. So you can check your report free of charge. You will see your report. You will see your scores. You will see all, all of that information that is attached to you. What is impacting your credit scores and all that. So that's the first way to check it. It's free of charge. Equifax. The second way is an app. There is an app that I downloaded. The name of the app is Borrow Well. So you can check it through the app too. So the Borrow Well tool, they will ask for your SIN, your other details. It's an app. Just go to App Store and download. Yeah, that's the app. Just go to App Store and download the app, Borrow Well. So every month, this app, this one is even better. You get it belongs like go to Equifax. But this app, they always update me, they will send me a message. Oh, congratulations, Michael, your credit score is, has improved. So that one is quite easier and it's free of charge. So borrow well, you will see your credit scores, you will see your credit report free of charge and it would not affect your credit scores. So the third one is uh, your bank. For example, CBIC, they have an option for you to check your credit scores on their on their app, on the CBIC app, you can check your credit report. But that one sometimes it does not look good. Since I've been using CIBC, CIBC, it's only once that I was able to check my credit report on that app. But you can still check it; it's free of charge. But Borrowell and Equifax, I use them very well to check myself. So you can try that too. So let's move to to the next point how to manage your credit scores you get the way you can increase your credit credit scores so this point now it can either you can it, it can either affect you or be of a benefit to you you get this point is negative and positive you understand so this is the last point right how to increase your credit scores so if you don't follow it it will be of a negative to you you understand so if you, it's like word and opposite you get so the first one is that how to increase your credit score don't bite more than you can chew you understand like how always tell people the cut they gave you don't spend what you don't have like for me these are these are always use my credit card though. If I want to buy anything with my credit card, I will make sure that I have that money in my savings account already. Either my savings or my checking account. The money is there in my savings or checking account. But I will use my credit card to buy it. So immediately I buy it, I will now transfer that money back on my credit card. Okay. So if you check my credit card account right now, you will see that it is the credit company that is still owning the money itself. So don't buy it more than what you can chew. You get any money you don't have, any money you don't have in your personal account, don't use your credit card to buy it. You understand? Because if you don't have the money and use the credit card, you might not be able to pay it back by the time that you ought to pay that money back. You understand? So, the, like I said, the way I always do it. Whatever I want to buy, I will make sure that I have the money already in my checking or my savings. So once I swipe my card, I will just transfer the money back to replace it. So 
any money you don't have, don't spend it on your card. If you bite more than you can chew, you get it would affect you. So if you don't bite more than you can chew, it will not affect you. You understand? So any money you don't have, don't spend it. And even if you don't have it, you get if you don't have it, you can still spend it. But if you know that hey, this money is sure, it's coming, you know where it can it can come from. You understand? Before the time you have to pay, you get. So that's number one. How to increase your credit score. Number two is that don't spend more than thirty percent. Like I've like I've been saying, don't spend more than thirty percent. You get. Don't spend more than that of your credit limit. Number two. That means if you spend more than thirty percent of your credit limit, is going to affect you. Yeah. Like I said, it's words and opposite. <laughs> Number three. Pay on time. You understand? Pay on time. Whatever money you spend or you borrow, make sure you pay it on time because there is a, always a deadline that they will give you for as an, for you to pay. So make sure you pay it on time. So if you're paying it on time, your credit score is going to be... <laughs> but if you don't pay it on time, you know... <laughs> And you, you don't want that for yourself. You get it. So, um, the next point is that, and in that payment, they will tell you that minimum payment, they will tell you that, oh, for example, if you spend $300, if you spend $300, they will tell you that minimum payment is $10. That's just pay $10. You don't have to pay all the $300. Man, don't follow that thing. No, that thing is a scam. You get it. It's a setup. You get so that ten dollars minimum payment. Don't follow it because some people now the mistake some people made, like someone shared his experience to me that when he got into Canada, he spent like for example five hundred dollars. So at the end of the month, they told they told him to pay th- only ten dollars. So he was very happy that hey ten dollars he paid ten dollars. The other month he spent money again. They told him to pay ten dollars. He paid only ten dollars. That thing is a scam. It is set up. They were setting you up. Mm. They are dug in a grave for you. <laughs> you understand? So because if you pay that ten dollars next month, if they want to calculate that money, they, it's like a compound. It's like a compound interest. The money will be more than what you ought to pay a month before. You understand? So any money you borrow, pay it on time. You understand? Then the next point, it um, don't apply for credits or loans unless you are sure. You understand? Don't apply. Don't apply for credit cards or loans unless you are sure. This has to do with the check, with the inquiries, with the act check. Because any credit card you want to apply for, the credit company would. Add check your your credit report, and once they are checked your credit report, it will affect your credit scores. So now, if you are not sure, you get maybe if your if your if your credit score is a four hundred or four fifty, you know with that, if you apply for a credit card, they will not approve you. You understand? So if you apply for the credit card, the credit company would add add check your credit reports which would affect your credit scores so why do you want to do that since you are not sure that the, the company would approve you either they will approve you or not you get so if you are sure that the company the credit company will approve you so why not let them let them do their check and then you know that it would impact your credit score but you will still have the credit card you get so if you are not sure don't apply for any credit card or any loan. That means if your credit card is, credit scores is low, you understand? because the more they check your credit credit report, the more the more your credit scores will be dropping. And this was what affected me, right? When I first moved into Canada, we get I didn't know all these things, so I wanted to buy a car. So I was going from one dealer shop to another. You get, and the anytime I go there, they would just check. They would just pull my credit report, and that would have affect my credit score. 
but I don't know these points before that don't apply for something if you are not sure you get and that time I don't have any credit history so what am I looking looking for <laughs> so I don't want other people to make the same mistake too you get so if you just move into Canada don't apply for any credit card or any car loan because they will not approve you they will just be checking your credit report at check it and then it would affect your your credit scores you understand okay see the way see all those things now see all those things these were when they were checking all my credit reports do you see and then it was affecting my credit scores you get all this car loan car dealer shop you get so if you are not sure yet why do you want to keep spoiling your credit scores by allowing them to at check your credit credit scores you know the credit report which would affect your credit score you understand and the last point I'm still talking about how to increase your credit scores right the last point is that what people always do is that so whenever they want to do anything they do it within a week if they want to do anything that requires a check you understand you always do it within a week for example now if they want to buy a car if they want to uh, apply for mortgage if they want to apply for credit card if they want to apply for for maybe any other thing you get if you do it within a week you get it it will not affect your credit score that much because the credit company would know that oh you are trying to do this thing in a week you get so what people always do whenever they want to do anything like that requires a check that they want to do anything they always do it within that week um if they want to get a car if they want to get a house whatever they want to do that that requires a check they always do it within that week so if one do it within that week it's only the same point that they would deduct you understand but if you do it this week and next week you go and check your you 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 want to go and apply for car loan the other week you want to go and apply for credit card the other week you get it will keep affecting your your credit scores you understand maybe you want to buy a car you go to this dealer this as in this same week they check your credit report tomorrow you go to another dealer they check your credit report it will not affect like it will not affect your credit score like that though it would affect they would deduct the point but they will not do it individually you get it to be all together to still be that oh you are doing this thing this week so with that being said i've said a whole lot of things about credits credits topic so i talk about a credit card you can go back and watch the previous video and this video is about credit scores so um just understand all these things so that you can make use of them so that you can you can get to know how they how they works because this is a credit system you get and you don't want to do anything that would affect affect your credit scores because that is very important in canada so i wish you best of luck guys please subscribe to our youtube channel um and i will see you in my next video and if you still need any question if you still have any question anything you want me you want to ask me you can comment i would reply you and uh, if there is anything you want me to make video about so anything that is not clear to you i would make video about them so thank you very much guys i love you bye